Okay, hello and welcome back to um, Season 1 of the PBG Challenge League with Mark and Harvey. My name is uh, Bothead and we will be going into the most dreaded scenario of Carcosa and Speak Beloth. We don't want to lose anybody in the Asylum, so first things first, we're going to randomize these two locations. And just take one out of each. This is gone. Uh, we'll shuffle these piles. We have the patient confinement set aside, so it's Daniel. I'm not bothering to pick out Constance because she's dead. Um, I've decided to retcon my problem and just delete Constance information from my VIPs interviewed because I made, obviously, the mistake with, um, con with uh, what's her face, that, that and Divine, that I shouldn't have been able to parlay. So I think that's the best way to fix it. Um, upgrades will be in the description. We'll uh, start by drawing opening hands. So one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, safeguard is going to be huge in this scenario. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep the weapon. And we'll just throw these two cards back. Here, we'll obviously kick the astounding reps. Keep the DES. I'm going to keep perception away and this as well. We're going to draw two new cards here and three, new, four new cards here. One, two, three. Well, this kind of looks like much of the same. I'm starting to regret taking Mr. Rook. I think the new taboo makes him very slow, so I might just kick him out for a different ally, maybe even Witten. But uh, with that being said, let's start the scenario. We have two Doom to advance, and we need six clues. Okay, this is the Lunatex do one, one more horror. Um, what I've seen being done usually is you take these clues, then you go up, take these clues, then you take these clues. Well, obviously, maybe you don't even have to take these clues because this is two and this will have four more. And that's enough to advance. And then you can go into the kitchens. So we might do that strategy. Um, let's start with Mark. We'll just run out these two cards. One, two, three, four, five. For our last action, we'll just gain a resource. Um, for Harvey, on the other hand, we really want to get the DES out. But we also want to start getting this unexpected courage engine going. So let's start by paying two to search. Obviously, he's triggering this astounding rev and getting the um, the dream diary. Okay. Second action, play said diary. And last action, actually, I'm going to drop the DES. It's probably going to give me more value in the long run. I know I don't have much time to set up, but uh, let's give it a go. And we'll do up. Okay, it's not bad here. Immediately trigger the DES and let's go. Um, let's remember I have um, cultists in the bag, which are currently minus zeros. And Rose Rollerm. Okay. Yellow sign. So we're at a three to four. That would be two horror. And search for a madness, which we really don't want to do. I don't think we have a madness. Technically, this would trigger astounding revelations. It would make our. Um, we make our cultists minus ones, but I guess that's okay. You know, let's just run it. I could commit a rook, but I don't think I want to. So we'll go three to four. Minus one. I'll kill this guy. Take one on me. We search our deck for madness weakness. This is a flaw. This is a flaw as well. And uh, this is an item. But we will trigger astounding rev because hey, we searched and get our two money. Okay, this goes away. So what we said is we'll start here and then we'll walk back down. So let's uh, trigger Mark's safeguard and we'll start walking. Boop. Now this guy only has one fight. That's pretty good. Second action, we'll investigate. We're at a four to one. That's good enough. Sorry, this has a plus one trout. So it's actually four to two, five to two. I do also get the assistance of dream. Last action, we'll go um, five to two. That's an elder sign. I can draw a card, and since it's my turn, I can draw another card. Okay. Good. So, in all honesty, after this, I can have Mark take the damage. We'll also draw him a card. We'll fight at a five to one. That's okay. Second action, I'll damage myself to draw a card. Shell Shock. Remember that I did this. I'm going to mark it with a huge resource token. Just to remember that I did this. And last action, 
Also, I'll just gain another buck. We'll be safeguarding to walk, so I think that's fine. Um, this, once again, triggers the DES, so let's take the draw. Good. Okay, so, agenda advances. We just shuffled the lunatics, so... Uh, we'll do that. Obviously, if they've been eroded, um, I'll try saying possessed. I don't... I'm not sure I'll succeed all the time, and this goes beneath the axe, so there it is. And seven. Okay, seven doom advances. Obviously, challenge mode is back on. Let's go. Yellow sign. So two core on mark is a bit more nasty. And since we'll just re-get this back, where is it? We'll just give him the essence of the dream. It gives a plus four. So I'm at a six to four. I could take a damage. It's pretty safe now that I got the shell shock. You know what? Let's do it. Let's take the draw. Yeah, that's pretty good. Up by four. That's pretty safe. This is gone. Need to do a brain test. Straight jacket. Well, easy come, easy go, I guess. Well, since Mark doesn't have really anything good to do, we'll just kick off the straight jacket and play this. Well, since there are straight jackets in this deck, I don't want to really replay a gun now. Getting up to hand size. Let's draw a card anyways. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so let's take two actions to move. Mark, you're coming along. Well, I mustn't forget that we do need to, uh, we have a very big need for speed in this scenario. Last action, we'll investigate. So we're at a four, five to two. We want to be up by four. We already drew both perceptions. We could PMP. You know, let's PMP first. Search the top nine. Yep, we get a deduction. Pretty good, shuffle it back. So it's gonna trigger, and this, this does say dry, right? No, add that skill, so, and anyways, this is exhausted. Uh, what we could do is work a hunch last clue afterwards. So we'll go four, five, six to two, and draw an auto fail. No, draw an elder sign, so I'll draw a card, and I'll draw another card with five visibility. Um, this goes back to my hand, actually, so I get one, two, three clues. And we're going to ditch this research like that, man, for the ability. This is after you successfully investigate. Okay. And I will quickly work a hunch just to get this clue. Because we have to get a good pace going, so we'll advance now as well. Um, it's pretty good doing it this, during this because we need to test book four. We're at five to four. Let's go six, seven, seven. We'll go eight to four. Up by four. That's a minus one. That draws me a card from perception. That's pretty good. Thrice damned is in my future. I need to get this down. Okay. So now we can start walking into these locations. So obviously this has a victory, this has an objective, and this is where we want to go. So we'll see how it goes. And we'll do up, keep. Okie doke. We have enough cards to not discard. One of seven. I think the pace is okay. Rose form is fine. Okay, young psychopath. I either take a horror, he gets plus three fight. This is going to be a bit of a noise. Um, the problem with taking the horror is it, that it makes it harder. It makes the tablets hot, the cultists harder. I will probably give it plus three fight. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So he's a five fight now. Yeah, let's start with Mark. We'll machete this guy at four to two. Do I have an overpower here? Honestly, we'll just give him the unexpected courage. Six to two. Yep, this guy's toast. Now. If we engage him, he becomes an eight. We attack it a six plus three. That's nine. Ten. Could be ten to eight. That's And then maybe take a damage. I could also PMP. Let's engage him. 
given another three fight. We're attacking with the machete last action. We'll PMP, see if we can get an overpower. Um, ooh, home front is even better. Yeah, let's do home front. Then I get four more icons, so I'm at it six, ten to eight, eleven. Thirteen to eight, up by five. It's minus zero because I don't have horror on me. This goes to my hand. I do transfer damage from me to this guy. He's dead. I'll also draw a card from Daring. And that was my turn. Okay, that was a pretty successful turn. Okay, let's start moving. Let's get this. Mark is coming, obviously. Yep. Okay, and I have to do sort of a setup turn, I think. Um, well, not quite of a setup, but I need my essences, especially if I want to hit this test. Last action, we're investigating versus two, so we're at four to two, five, six, seven to two. So up by five. That draws me a card. Obviously, I'll draw the overzealous now. I do get clues, I think, first. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'll just do this. This was Surge. Nearest the Sodom Hall. That's here. That's fine. And Corrosion. Discard item assets equal to my... This is an item. This is gone. Bye. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Um, upkeep. Okay. Um, sure. Strike time isn't going to hurt me much now. Ooh, that's a good card. I wish I had the money for it. Um, I'm going to discard this excess, not the safeguard. Let's kick this gun. Okay. Two, seven. Road Swarm, that's fine. That's a two shroud location. And what can't I do? Play events. Honestly, for now, I'm going to keep it. It's not really cluttering my hand. And um, all I want to do is start walking. So let's start with Mark, right? So I'll go to four to two. Sorry, five to two. That's a minus one. That's fine by me. This guy's dead. Second action. Let's let's start getting people into place. So let's play Tetsuo. Last action. Well, e cash. One, two, three. So let's play one, two, three. One, two, three. Can I do this? What will this guy do? He will kick us into horror mode. Because that's a two test, and I can. No, I don't have that yet. So yeah. Let's e cash. Okay, let's trigger the essence. Uh, first action. So I'm at a three to two. This gives me a plus two. Well, wait. Three to two, five to two, six to two, a safeguard. It's a minus one. That's fine. Once again, I'll mark it with a huge thingy. Second action will walk. You're coming with me. Deals a damage and a horror, right? Because of this. Last action. Let's run out this scroll of secrets and start doing my own deck. One, two, three. Well, I saw Thrice Damned and I saw Class of Onyx. So this is going to go to the discard pile. This is going to go to the bottom of the deck, right? I can do that. Top or bottom. And I can draw this Unexpected Courage. Yes, thank you. Okie doke. Um, no hunters. This guy's just going to die eventually. And we'll do up. Keep. Well, you know, what can you do? That's fine, actually. Ooze and filth. Everything gets plus one shroud. I need to remember this. Corrosion. So I need to hit a three now. It's probably the FPK. It's probably the FPK. It is the FPK. Bye. Okay. Um, let's start with Harvey this time. We get the essence. Well, obviously, we'll mark along. We'll take two actions to go here. Boop. And now begs the question, do we rush down or do we get this beeps? I did use all of my clue acceleration. I could try getting this on the way out. It has four clues, if I remember correctly. What's my pacing? Let's go down. Boop. And let's put these into play. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we did two missions. 
There are more here. There's one here, but we'll try getting two here. To enter these, we need to spend a clue. We need to spend a clue, so obviously it's just this guy. Well, let's hack at this guy. To attack him, I need to take a horror. I'm at four to two. Honestly, that's probably not worth it. Could take a damage. I could also just give him the essence of the dream to get a plus, plus two, but that's good enough. Yep, this guy's dead. This is now five shroud, so I don't think I'm going anywhere near that. I have 19 cards in my deck. Hmm. Let's draw a card and decide what we do. Set fast is interesting. Honestly, if we get the hallowed mirror, we're probably in good shape. I'm really afraid of that straight jacket. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna gain a resource. Okay. Um. Upkeep. There you go. B cut. That's a good draw. Up to three, six, eight cards. Seven because these don't count. This goes away. We will. Yep. Four of seven. Yep. Young Dudester. Five, five. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow sign. Okay, this is interesting now. Because now two horror is a bit painful. So I'm going to commit this to be 5 to 4, 6 to 4. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. 4 all. 5 to 4 with this unexpected courage, and I'll give him the steadfast to get plus 3. So he's up by 4. That's fine. We did a brain test. Just in case it matters, I don't think so. I think there's a fist test here somewhere and a book test here somewhere. Also, we want this clue, so we might ditch this so we could work a hunch. Let's see what, what our deck has in store. One, two, three. Does it draw one of them? You may add. No, add. So what do we have here? Well, this is gone. This doesn't have the charges yet. Sorry. FPK is going to probably be very big to get these clues and these clues. Honestly, I haven't seen any of my allies. <laughs> um, well, the good allies, the RMC. And how am I getting that into play? I probably have to crack the case for that. For that, I'd have to investigate properly. So let's put this FPK on top. Take this to our hand. Pick this up. We're going to take a mini turn off to kick this out and then what we're going to do is we're going to investigate we're for all this gives us a plus two and this will give us a plus four so we're up by four and of course we auto fail so it's going to have to wait a turn i was going to work a hunch and crack the case so i could get the fpk but i'll just have to play it next turn okay let's chop a chopper we're at four to five. Let's get plus four. So we're up by three, and we can commit this machete to be up by four. This removes the last damage from Mark. Second action, play beat cop. One, two, three, four. A charisma. That's fine. Last action. What am I drawing to? Let's draw a card anyways. And we'll use Harvey's ability to let him draw another card. Which I forgot last turn. Uh, let's upkeep. Yes. Okay. Five of seven. We need to stand together. Cannot attack those enemies. Dance of the Yellow King. Are there any? Nope. Search. What can't you do? Not trigger action abilities on locations. That's pretty annoying. Let's, between turns, actually do Mark stack. Because if we get a stand together, we're in good shape. Nope. That's two of her powers and a Hallowed Mirror. Hallowed Mirror doesn't really do much here. I don't remember if I still have it. Do I have another PMP in my deck? I do. So I'd like to keep overpowered in my deck. But this means I'm not drawing my weakness, my basic weakness, which I honestly don't remember what it is, because it's been a while since I've recorded. 
Um, it's not going to matter since I'm going to take the Halidmir and probably play it, so it's going to shuffle these overpowers. Uh, let's keep them on top. So, first action. Let's play Halidmir. One to hand, two to deck. Second action. We're, no, we're going to do this. He puts, randomly choose and place it beneath the act. You go under the act. Okay. Okie doke. This could be really good for us, but it could also kick us in the butt. Uh, we'll gain a resource. Yes. We got this. First action, resource. Second action, fingerprint kit. Last action, investigate. So we're at a five to four. Six, seven, eight to four. Up by four again. That's a minus one. I get both of these clues. And it might be time to crack the case here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Up. Now I get Vermilla on. I will ditch this automatic. Six of seven. Ooh, boy. Times are tight. Wall's closing in. Our shroud is four. Um, five to four, six, seven, seven to four. We'll just have to run it. Elder sign. Nearest asylum halls. That's up there. Okay. Finally, we can start playing the game. Let's pick this guy up. Um, I don't think we have much investigating to do. We only have this thing and... If we get it, if we get it, we don't, we don't. Let's start by walking. Let's go to this one. Mark, you're coming along. One clue goes. Let's reveal this. Oh! She's an investigator to take Daniel. He takes up an ally slot, so meet Herbie. He's not Miss Katonic. <laughs> so he gets Daniel. We shuffle. These two with this. That's a big shuffle. Now we need to do. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's my mistake. We are on conviction. So we, sorry, we took the clasp of Onyx. So we use version one. Uh, we need to do four missions. Jeez, I remembered three. Where are the bloody missions? So we need to find two more. So second action, we'll walk back. And let's start looking for a mission. So last action, we'll spend another clue. And we'll go into this one. Boop. Okay, I knew there was a fist one. So let's just try it. Let's just slam our heads into it. I'm going to PMP, so we'll be at a 5 to 2. And this is probably going to find an overpower. Yes, it will. Oh, through the gates. That's my weakness. Up by too many to think. Minus four, and that's exactly why I did that. That draws me a card. Um, I did this. <sighs> I don't want to draw next to one with Harvey's. <laughs> so there's a book one, and there's a brain one. The brain one I could probably do. If I get the steadfast. Second action, I'm going to start by healing us. So one here, one here. That draws me a card. Well, let's stand together. That's pretty fun. This is a hunt. We do up. Keep. Well, good enchanted blade. Let's kill. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It gives us more icons. We're going to kill one of the Thompsons. This is going to advance right now. It's a bit scary. Uh, we need to choose and shuffle it into the encounter deck. So, uh, Constance is not alive, so she doesn't spend in the garden. Run! We have eight doom to go. Another one here. This is going to be fun. What do you get? What can't I do? I cannot attack lunatic enemies. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So, um, so we'll take two actions to check out this one. Oh, bloody hell, that's the book one. 
and I cannot trigger action abilities on locations, right? And I will have to get rid of it to resign, but I'll wait because if I redraw it afterwards, it's going to be a nightmare. I'm going to help Mark by committing this to get four icons. Last action, one, two, three, four. I'm going to play out Dr. Milan. It's good soak and it's going to help us. Okay. First action, let's have Mark. Oh, should I have played him? I would have learned two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Nope. Sorry. I just would have gained a resource. Um, this is because two, four, six, eight, when I commit the assassins now for Mark. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to do a cheeky play. We're going to run and investigate it. Two to one. At one to three. Second action, we're going to try doing this. We're two all. Now we're up by four. We did this. We must immediately advance. One, two, three, four missions. Okay. We shuffle the encounter discard pot into the encounter deck, which we just did. Um, we did not shuffle any monsters by that. Now we just have to GTFO. Last action. Let's let's run out the enchanted blade. This is exactly what I'm going to draw, uh, Stray Jacket. I just know it. Okay. Up. Keep. Milan. Sure, why not take the free draw? Okay. One of eight. No. He spawns here. That's a scary dog. Okay. We now have started hitting monsters which is pretty scary we really have to go out we really need to evade this guy so let's pick this up one card in my deck i don't know what it is i'm going to try evading committing the assassin's getting a plus four so we're at a one plus four so we're at five to two let's give him plus three hope to not draw the auto fail so we're at 8 to 2, minus 2, that's fine. This guy's evaded. Who draws the card? I draw a card. Take the draw, and do we need the extra draw? Could be a through the gates. Hell, we'll take it. Second action, we'll walk here. He's not massive. Last action, we'll walk here. Mark has a party bus going on and honestly it's very 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 scary i need to kill this gorger pronto let's e-blade him at five six seven to four eight to four <sighs> that's gonna deal three damage Second action, we'll e-blade him again. Eight to four. Oh, thank God. That defeats him, that draws me a card. Yeah, that's fine. Last action, we need to kill one of these guys. Um, we'll do this, taking us a horror. We're at eight to two. That's great, that heals a horror, draws a card. Oh, Pallid Man. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Could I get him in the garden? This might fudge my resign, but uh, we'll try it. Anyway, this guy punches me for damage. Drawing us a card. You up. Um, we have nine cards now. We'll discard the stream diary. Here we'll discard this. We don't have time or money. Or time for money. Well, that's a bit of a joke there, but yep. Yeah. Two of eight. When he engages me, he deals me a damage and himself. So you, you. Come on, let's draw that. Really? Okay, that's interesting. We'll use Harvey's ability. No, it's not during the investigation phase. Corrosion. Our Shroud is three. 
Um, I really want this fingerprint kit. Because it will just get me the last two clues and we'll be done with it. So let's... Though we have much more value from getting that. We can. It's just the FPK. It's just the FPK. We just get these two clues. Investigate once. Yeah, that's probably better. Sorry. It's better value. First action, walk in. We're going for the Veeps. We're crazy. Second action. One, two, three, four. Elon. Last action, we investigate with plus four. So we're at a five, seven to three. Sorry, much more. And obviously, we one, two. We can play events, right? We, we're going to hunch this last clue. We also trigger Milan. And do we crack the case? No, I want the cards in my hand. And I don't think we need to crack any cases. He takes a whore, right? Um, so let's do this, shall we? This is going to be fun. We will start by attacking this guy. No? Yes? Does it matter? We don't want to attack this guy twice. So we attack him. We'll take a horror and beat cup. So we're at five, seven to two. That's good enough. That's one damage. We're going to punch B cup to kill this guy we'll draw a card which is through the gates there is no card to draw if it's not a weakness then yada 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 so nothing happens and we'll use harvey's ability no we won't second action we'll machete this guy so we're at a seven to three let's go eight to three because we just want to kill them Do I have anything to heal? What am I doing? <laughs> um, this doesn't hunt. There's no reason to start walking out. Though I could. I'll start walking out. No, that doesn't save Harvey if he draws. Last action, we'll gain a resource. Enemy phase, nothing. Upkeep, we'll take a horror. So will this guy. I need to discard a card. It's going to be this their beat cop. Three of eight. Corrosion. Our shroud here is three. Just ditch this enchanted blade. Walls closing in. It's a three all test for horror damage. Let's we'll just go up by two and hope. Minus one. That's good enough. So in my turn, we draw the system to bring two, four, six, eight cards in hand. Um, uh, we're just walk, walk, walking. One, two, three. Okay. First action, go to the garden. Hello. Second action, engage pallet man. Last action, give him the choppa. It's, sorry. Six to four, eight to four. Great, that's two damage. The draw six card. And we'll exhaust speed cup and kill this guy. And say that we have chased the stranger one more time, which is really good because I wanted to do this. I moved, I engaged, and I attacked. Okay. Up. Keep. Overzealous again. Stray jacket, this jumps up. And not commit skill cards to skill tests. What happens if this leaves? Does it go away? No. Okay. Since I can't commit skill cards, this is going away during upkeep. And probably this, no, the PMP. Yeah. And I have nine cards. Sure. Four of eight. I need to kill this guy. I need to kill this guy. I'm going to kill Tetsuo. Search the top nine cards of my deck. For an item, let's take this. So I took a whore, obviously. 
Okay. I need to test a brain three. I cannot commit skill cards. These aren't skill cards. Up by two, up by three. That's the best I can do. Yes. Okay. Move. That's Harvey. Do this. So this one, which I cannot trigger actions. It just shuffles, right? Because whenever, when you would place, it shuffles instead. And resign. Harvey out. Woof! You machete this guy. I'm at a six to two. That's good enough. Resign. Wow! Okay, we did not take the keys by force, so we go to R3. Oh, that was scary. Oof, playing this game. Playing this scenario always gets to you. So we escape the asylum. Asylum. Uh, we get victory X. Vic Townsend is dead already. And we get... We lose to cultists. And we get to other thing. VP. So, one... Two. This doesn't have VP, I know that. Um, so, two from locations. I, I wonder if the what's her face was here. Oh, there's also screeching by keys in this one. Okay. So, yeah, all the VP enemies actually shuffled into the deck. It was the Beast of Aldebaran and another screeching by a key. Have I gotten these? I could have gotten much more X, but that's fine. I want to get out, not to greet it. And lost soul. So we did resign with Daniel, right? So we get two additional experience. Daniel survived two additional X. So we get one, two, three, four. So that's four experience each. Uh, obviously, we're going to take the warning. We're going to heed the warning. Uh, we'll get an additional VP, right? That's two conviction. Heated, heated, Daniels. Warning, it's two more conviction. We obviously get, we get the extra VP. We cannot say the H word for the remainder of the scenario, for, of the campaign. We go to Phantom of Truth, which I can already say will give us the lost soul and a mental trauma. So we'll get to that when we get to that. But until next time, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, why not leave a comment or even do a, uh, add a like. Thank you very much for watching, and until then, butt head out.